after literally years of searching and a failed attempt at building my own, I finally found a bed topper for my sport track. And it was in my area. The reason toppers are so hard to find for the sport track is because the bed is not a standard size. It is only 50 inches long, just a hair over 4 feet. No other truck has a bed this small. And since the sport track came with an OEM hardcover, there was never a large market for bed toppers to be made. I did investigate the possibility of having a brand new topper built, but it would have cost a few grand. Needless to say, I was not going to drop that kind of money. I was able to get this one for a few hundred bucks. This topper is in very good condition. There are a few spots on the roof where the clear coat is peeling, but I am not worried since the fiberglass construction. Both side windows function properly. The front cab facing window also slides, but it is missing the latch. I did have to fabricate new mounting brackets. I may make better ones in the future to better suit the bed. Yeah, I could have simply bought brackets, but where's the fun in that? The rear glass has two T handles. They are lockable, but I did not get a key when I bought this topper. I did some price shopping and found that getting replacement keys made costs nearly the same as replacing both T handles with brand new ones. So that's what we're going to do. These are known as blind mounts, meaning the, no bolts or screws are visible from the outside and this makes them a little bit more safer and secure. This job can be done with some simple tools. All you need is just a Phillips head screwdriver to take the bolts out, some vice grips if your bolts are kind of stuck, a flat head screwdriver, and then a drill bit just in case something is stripped out. Replacing the handles is a simple job. Start by removing the lever from the shaft of the T-handle. This is what keeps the glass firmly shut. Then remove the old T-handle bolts. I did have to drill one bolt since the head stripped out on me. Once both bolts are removed, the T-handle should fall right out. Install the new T-handle in reverse. Verify both handles function properly. They should lock and unlock in the open and closed positions. That's it. Maybe one of these videos will be about something else other than my sport track. <laughs> one can dream.